Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to showcase 5 more alt parking spots for you to make use of your unused alt characters. These are pretty simple. You just park your alt there and log in once in a while to check if the rare is there or not. Let's start with the first spot and that is in the Emerald Dream here on the map. There is a rare that can spawn on this spot and is called Molten Binder's Disciple. Why do you want to kill this rare? Well, he drops a toy called Molten Lava Ball, which you can sell for quite a good amount of gold. The second spot on our list is located in the Forbidden Reach, here on the map. This rare is even easier, but will require some investment. We are looking to farm a rare called Latrock, which can be spawned by using an item called Sparkling Spice Pouch. Luckily, this item is pretty cheap in comparison to the pet you can get from it. The rare drops a pet called Luvi and has around 2% drop chance. While farming this rare, you could get a notification of other rares spawning, such as Rakan the Hunter, who can drop a pet called Scruffles on a 4% drop chance, or Bone Sifter Marwag, who can drop the Ashen Wing on a 4% drop chance. These two rares are pretty close to Lutrock, so you could also fly to them and get a chance on another two nice pets. The third spot is located in the Shadow Moon Valley, but in the Outland version. There is a rare called Kaleidos the Warp Watcher. This rare can spawn in four different spots and wanders around them. The spots can be seen here on the map, but I will also leave a TomTom -tom command of the spots in the description. Why do you want to kill this rare? Well, he can drop... No! He always drops one of the four Monocle Transmogs, one for each armor type. With the new Warband system, you can now unlock the appearances of every armor type no matter what you're currently playing, or you could always sell these since they are bind on equip. The next spot is in the Dread Waste in Pandaria, here on the map. I have put two spots here because they are close to each other, both drop pets and both have similar drop chance. The first rare is Car the Darkener and drops a pet called Grinder, which has around 8% drop chance. And the second rare from this zone is called Nalash Vernantis and can drop a pet called Aqua Strider, also on roughly 8% drop chance. And the best thing about these two is that you can kill them as many times a day as you want and still have a chance on the pets. And the last spot you want to park your ult to is here in Meldraxxus. Here there is a rare you can spawn and is called Smorgas the Feaster. This rare can drop two pets, the Corpse Laws Larva and the Feasting Larva. The Feasting Larva has roughly 5% drop chance, while the Corpse Laws Larva has around 1% drop chance. To summon the rare, you click on this chunk of meat on the ground, which will turn the blood lies around aggressive. Smorgas has a chance of spawning per each aggroed blood lice. Once you aggroed each blood lice, but Smorgas didn't spawn, you can simply fly up, lose the aggro, fly back in and repeat the process. This is why I advise you to click on the meat and quickly mounting up right after. And of course, we cannot forget about the auction house prizes, so here they are, both for EU and US realms. And well, those are the 5 alt parking spots. What do you think? Have I found a new place for one of your alt characters? Do you know any spot I should cover in the next video? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you liked it and make sure to execute that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!